welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books and david david is my boyfriend if you haven't met anybody here before david just say hi and a few facts about yourself hi i am david yes i am lauren's girl boyfriend <laughs> you're, my, girlfriend. you're my girl boyfriend we live together we yes have a cat yes um and we love each other <laughs> but tell us something that you've never told anyone before um I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's a disappointment, isn't it? Well, I'm an open book. Oh, yeah, we are open books. We are open books. Mm. Anyway, the reason David's here today... I've got skanky oh. legs. <laughs> he's got... He's been bit on his legs and he just can't stop picking them. Yeah. Lovely. Um, the reason David is here today... <laughs> what a... What a lovely thing. Open book. David is here today because last August, it's too hot for him, me to touch him. Um, last August, David was kind enough to pick my TBR for me for the month of August. Now, um, you picked 10 books for me. I did. Um, did you enjoy doing it? I did. Yeah. I and can't remember what I picked. Oh, okay. Well, I only read five of them. I thought you said you read six. No, I thought, and I've just watched it back again, and I only read five. And um, actually, one of them I only picked up like a few days ago, so in the so bit naughty of me, but I did enjoy the process of it. And watching the video back, I feel like you picked out a lot of books on my shelves that I've forgotten about. Okay, so David's gonna help again today. Help, he's gonna do it. So he's gonna pick 10 books for me. One book that I definitely will be reading in August, I'll just show you this already. It's uh, my Patreon book club book. This is Honor Girl, this is a graphic memoir by Maggie Thrash. This is a coming of age story um, about Maggie, and yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to reading that again. So that's already decided. David, you've got a few rules. Yeah. You're not allowed to pick things that I've read before. No, deal. You're not allowed to pick, I'm not sure this will appeal, but you're not allowed to pick the second in a series or if it's, uh, okay. if it's in no, a series when I haven't enough. read the other ones. And I'm allowed to say no to one book. Fair enough. And have you got, how, how do you feel like you're going to do this? Remember to talk to the camera. Yeah. So I'm just I have to keep telling you off about this you last time as to. well. I am just, I'm just going to... Go with my heart. You're a, a cover cover reader, aren't you? I am. Um, I judge books by their covers. Okay. I believe I said that in the last video. I you judge books did, by their yes. Covers. There's a lot. I will oh, link change. the last video down below if you fancy going to watch what I uh, didn't read last year. So, David, get picking. Okay. I do like that they're all colour coded. Yeah. So my bookshelves are in colour coded. So I've got a white section, red, pink, purple. They're my cloth bound classics that you can't really see, but I will show you. Cloth bound right. classics and blacks and greys down there. Right, I'm not gonna pick oh. massive ones. Okay. Like long books. Go over there. I'm gonna try and, uh, The Good Immigrant. I've read it. Oh. <laughs> number um, one. Number one. Number one, she's read it. What about She Who Did, no, I don't like them for that. Okay. It looks, uh, I don't know, do I like the, is that a um, graphic novel? No. Have you read that? No. Just we have a look at that. Okay. She Who Dares, Ten Trailblazing Society Women. Did I buy this? No, I got it from Simon. Are you excited about this? I want to read it, it's on my shelf. One. One, right, okay, number one. You carry on picking out, I'll yeah. talk about this. Number one is She Who Dares, Ten Trailblazing Society Women by Lindsay Spence. Um, this I hauled quite recently. Oh, you're, I'm, chopping off, I'm chopping off the top of my head. Um, this I hauled quite recently. Sorry. I'm still chopping off the top of my head. This I hauled quite recently, and um, it is a book about ten women who have, it says here, history has seen many women make their mark by defying the limits set against them, stepping out of the boxes that they had been put in and forging their own path. She Who Dares is a collection of pen portraits of ten extraordinary women who dare to defy the norm. There are often witnesses to or participants in key events in the last hundred years, including abdications, the rise of fascism and two world wars. So yes, very excited. It does look quite wordy, look at this. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, so I mean, we'll give it a go, but we'll, we're yeah. not sure how well that's going to go. So that's number one, well done. Have you read that? No. Do you know what? I put that there so you'd pick it. Uh, <laughs> this is another book I, I got from Simon. <laughs> uh, this is What Would the Spice Girls Do by Lauren Bravo. This is non-fiction. Look at those end papers, it's Ooh. pink. Um, Pink leopard print. Minnie's there. Have you read Funny Girl by Nick No, Corby? I have not. Um, this is uh, a non-fiction book about how um, like the Nick Spice Corby. Girls affected culture. I've been wanting to read it for a long time. I bought it for my sister for Christmas because um, uh, my sister and I went to see the Spice Girls earlier this year. And um, yeah, really, really uh, looking forward to reading that. So I've wanted to read it for a while. And it's so I really like the pink and I really like pink and red together. Um, and I had honestly, I had placed it hoping that David would pick it. So number two, Do book number two. Uh, no, it, 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 the series. Funny Girl is a play that um, mm. Sheridan, Sheridan is in, but I don't think it's the same one. I think this oh, is okay. a, this one. 
Yeah. Okay, great. So this is Funny Girl, Nick Hornby. Now yeah, back down. Back, okay. <laughs> He's down here. Back in the days uh, before I knew um, what to read and before I really knew my reading tastes actually, I used to read a lot of Nick Hornby um, and I haven't read any for many, many, many years. And this is one of his more recent books. This was uh, published in 2015. Um, and this is about a woman, Barbara Parker, who is crowned Miss Blackpool in 1964. Um, and oh. then she goes to London to make her fortune. I believe she wants to be a comedy writer or work in comedy. Um, but also it's got sort of like, it's interspersed with um, photos and stuff. So yeah, oh, I'm pleased because I never would have picked this up and I've been wanting to read it for a long time. So this was a second hand copy, so it's a bit battered, but yes, yeah, been re meaning to read that for a while. Like How Have are you, you getting on? One? No. That looks quite cool. Yeah, that's... I like that cover. Okay. That's a lovely... So this is one that I've literally just hauled as well. This is Hotel Silence by Arda Ava Olafsdottir. Um, this is translated from Icelandic. Um, I bought it from... What are you saying? The purple ones? The purple ones are lovely. Um, this is, uh, I bought this from the Margate Bookshop. Um, and this is about a chap um, who um, whose wife has left and his mother is slipping deeper into dementia and his daughter is no longer who he thought. So he comes up with a foolproof plan, plan to buy a one-way ticket to a chaotic, war-ravaged country and put an end to it all. But on arriving at Hotel Silence, he finds his plans and his anonymity begin to dissolve under the foreign sun. You're gripping my leg, are you all right? Yeah, I'm ready for the next one. Oh, okay. One. So, yeah, so um, that's only I'm recently been hauled, so I'm quite looking forward to reading that as well. Do you know what? I actually thought you would pick this one. I don't know why, but I thought you would. Are you after so, translated. A, are you after a book that's sexy, radical and intimate? Yes, always. Lovely. Okay, so I believe this this is a short story collection. God, you're getting yeah. the right range here. You've got some non-fiction, translated fiction, then we've got short stories. This is Whatever Happened to Interracial Love, um, stories by Kathleen Collins. Um, I, I believe this has done the sort of like rounds on booktube, and I actually bought this second hand in a, in a bookshop. Um, and this is about, this is uh, stories written in the late 1960s and early 1970s, but unpublished in Kathleen Collins's lifetime. These stories transport the reader into a world of civil rights conferences and sit-ins, church rallies and art galleries where poets, freedom writers and lonely young women wait out hot summers in dingy New, dingy New York apartments all wondering whatever happened to interracial love. So yeah, exciting. So that's five, David. You're halfway through. Yeah. How are you getting on? Mm, I'm at a bit of a cross. We're getting, I'm getting a bit hot as well, actually. I am getting really, getting really hot. hot. So what, what are you looking for? Well, I definitely want to get you a graphic novel because I know you don't mind a graphic novel. Okay. But I don't... I don't know if there's any on there that I, I haven't know, read. I don't know if there's any on here. He's down there, he's down there now. You've read the beard one, haven't you? The one yeah. that I've... My one. I think, I'm just having a look. I think I've read every... Everything. Oh, I haven't read this. That's a graphic history. Let's have a look at that. I like that cover. Yes. Yeah? Where was that? Here. Oh, yeah. I've read these two, so you might have... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's okay. go for that one, because I wanted, I'd like to get you a... Okay, so the next one is a graphic novel. This is Queer, A Graphic History by Meg John Barker and Julia Shiel. And this is, as it says on the tin, a graphic history of uh, queerness, so LGBTQ plus uh, action in this groundbreaking book. It says, A kaleidoscope of characters from the diverse world of pop culture, film, activism and academia, such as James Bond, Judith Butler and The Wizard of Oz, guide us on a journey through their idea for the ideas people and events that shape the queer queer theory so yeah it looks quite interesting it looks have you read stand tall little girl uh, i've never i don't think so oh right okay that's um a book about anorexia mm, no i always decided against that mm. So that's six we've got so far uh, again quite the range david you're doing very well good how to love a jamaican that's short stories I would, I don't want to say no to anything, but I have already got a short story collection there. All right, that's fair enough. Um, hmm. You got four more. Let's find you like a classic one. No, oh, well they, these are my, these are classics here. No, I mean like a, I don't know. Oh, I'm so hot. I oh, know, you're getting a bit sweaty on the old back. Yeah. Um, oh no, I wouldn't do that oh, no. if, I was, if I was you. Yeah, let's get you one of these because I like these cloth bound ones. Now, the, the problem is with these cloth bound ones is that I've probably read a lot of them. Do you want me to tell you the ones I haven't read? Have you read that one? Yes. Oh. No, because they're all a bit big for you, aren't they? Well, they're not. I haven't read Far <laughs> From the Madding Crowd. I haven't read Ch Lady Chatterton's no. Love. No. Oh, okay. I'm fine now. I'll stop now. <laughs> I saw the adaptation of Far From The Madding Crowd and it was very, very good. 
They're my um, they're my favourite, so I've read all of those up there. I should, oh, okay. have, I should have said that. What, all of these? Yeah, all of those have been read. All of them? Right, yeah. well, why am I wasting my time up there? And that's my Harry Potter shelf. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let's go for that one. I okay. like the banana peel. So this is Sheldon Freud, The Joy of Another's Misfortune by Tiffany Watt Smith. Uh, this is published by The Welcome Collection. You're, you're hanging around there oh, like you've, the got one, you've got one racked up. Um, and this is all about the joy of other people's misfortune. So yeah, um, sounds unusual, uh, non-fiction. We'll see how it goes. Very good front cover though. Look at all those golden bananas. I believe David's got another one racked up. Ooh. I've read that. Ah. Restless Girls, Jessie Burton, cool. one of my faves. Did you like it? Yeah, really good. That's cool. Sorry, right, so you need two, four, six, seven, you need three more. I know you like a Daphne. Have you read I do like a Daphne. Yet? I have not read that Daphne de Maurier. Let's do that because I know you like okay, a Daphne. Your mum bought me that as well. So this is a Daphne de Maurier. Very excited oh, to read a Daphne de Maurier. Uh, this is The Glass Blowers. I know nothing about this. David's mum bought me. So let me read it to you. It says, faithful to her, bleh, faithful to her word, mm -hmm. Sophie Duval reveals to her long lost nephew the tragic tale of a family of master craftsmen in 18th century France. The world of the glass blowers has its own traditions, its own language and its own rules. If you marry into glass, Pierre Lab warns his daughter, you will say goodbye to everything familiar and enter a closed world but crashing into his what this world comes the violence and terror of the french revolution against which the family struggles to survive hmm. so it says the glass flowers is a remarkable achievement an imaginative and exciting retelling of de morio's own family history so that is exciting yeah so this is one that i've not read i think david's mum has read this um i think she read it on a holiday but yeah looking forward to reading that they're such good covers these um Virago modern classics. So yeah, two more, David. Two more. We got that from a book uh, from a lush book club. I don't think I'll come with you to that one. Okay. This is Things Bright and Beautiful by Anbara Salam. And as I said, I got this from a Lush book club. Um, I heard um, Anbara chat. Did you come because it was the same time we got this one as well, The Water Cure? We got one each. You must have come because I wouldn't have got two books. Yeah. When Bea Hanlon follows her preacher husband Max to a remote island in the Pacific, she soon sees that their mission will bring anything oh, but salvation. Yeah. For Advent Island is a place beyond the reaches of even her most fitful Im imaginings. It's not just the rats and the hordes of mosquitoes and weevils in the powdered milk. Past the confines of their stuffy little house, amidst the damp and the dark and the sweltering heat, rumours are sweat spreading of devil chasers who roam the island on the hunt for evil spirits. And then there are the noises from the church at night. Hmm. This sounds a little bit like the Poisonwood Bible, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's just hot climate following a preacher. Um, so yeah, so one more, David. I Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, I have read that. One more, we're waiting for one more. I'm very pleased with these. I'm gonna put them in a sort of order of what's what. What are you excited about? No, just in a fiction and non-fiction type place. Mm. What about this guy? I just love the colour kids rainbow. I haven't read that? Yep. Okay. Bang. And the last one is A Life of Adventure and Delight by Akhil Sharma. Uh, it says, late one June afternoon, seven months after my wedding, I woke from a short, deep sleep in love with my husband. Whether describing the tension of an arranged marriage, the trauma of having an alcoholic mother, or the petty corruption of Indian neighbourhood, Akhil Sharma's stories, it's more stories, always expose the cultural collisions, the paradoxes, ironies and harmonies that characterise modern life. What does it mean to be foreign, and can you find a home in exile? So yeah, so, I'll do this quick, because I know we're both absolutely melting. So ten books. David has picked two of which are short story collections one is a life of adventure and delight by Akhil Sharma uh, then whatever happened to interracial love by Kathleen Collins he's picked me a graphic novel in that of queer a graphic history by Meg John Barker and Julia Shield do you want to pass me some of those and then you can be beautiful no we've already talked about that <laughs> you didn't pick that did you then I've got three non-fiction books she who dares ten trailblazing society women by Lindsay Spence um, what Would the Spice Girls Do by Lauren Bravo and <laughs> Sheldon Freud, Freud, The Joy of Another's Misfortune by Tiffany Watt Smith. Which put then, them down. Yeah. Then he's picked me four, <laughs> then he's picked me four fiction books. The Glass Blowers by Daphne du Maurier. Funny Girl by Nick Hornby. Seamless. Hotel Silence by Alda Ava Olofsdottir. And finally, Things Bright and Be Come on. Things Bright and Beautiful by Anvara Salam. So thank you very much to David for picking my um, 
August TBR, oh, gotcha. um, we can get the window open now and the fan back on. It's been so hot here. Today is actually a cool day compared to... The, it's 19 degrees, so it's almost 20 yeah. degrees cooler than what like it was on all Thursday. The, all the sun is, all this heat is trapped yeah, in here. Yeah, half flat. We just got trapped in heat. But thank you so much for uh, for joining us today and thank you for picking my August TBR. Looking forward to getting to some of those. Good. It's nice to pick some books off the shelves that I wouldn't pick normally. Good. I appreciate it. And I will see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye! <laughs>